the side which lost in midweek. It was the usual 4-4-2 formation, but out went Robbie Nielsen, Christoph Berra, Takis Fisas, Julian Brelia, and Chesnauskas. In came Costa, Karipidis, Wallace, Zaliukas, and Maurizio Pinilla, recently signed on loan from Sporting Lisbon. For Inverness, Cali Thistle, Charlie Christie also went with the tried and trusted 4-4-2. He brought back some regulars into his starting lineup following his team's CIS Cup win over Dumbarton in midweek. Darren Dodds came back into the heart of the defence. Ian Black, Roy McBain and John Rankin also started the game. Your match commentator is Rob McLean. Head flick from Bean. Wilson in for Winers. Good touch and a good effort as well, just wide. Dennis Wyness against his old team and very close there to giving Cali Thistle the lead. Thiago Costa to Neil McCann looking for that little glimmer of a chance for the cross. It was Jamie Moles header and it was a stunning save from Mark Brown to keep out the youngster. He thought he'd scored his first top team goal for Hart. Zalukas with the pass, good one for McCann. Early ball in. And Mauricio Pinilla has his first hearts goal. Lovely delivery from Neil McCann in the 20th minute. And there to beat it was the young Chilean striker to guide it away from Mark Brown. And they're one up against Inverness. Ian Black to Barry Wilson. Good movement. And a decent cross as well for Graham Payne. More than decent. And Graham Payne squares it for Inverness Cali Thistle. Right on the half hour. Terrific play from Black. And then Wilson and Payne, who was a menace to Celtic as a substitute last weekend, gets the final touch there. And it's 1 1 at Tancastle. Wilson, Roy McBain with Richard Hastings racing up on the outside, good ball in for Dennis Wyness, and it could so easily have been 2-1 Inverness, lovely build up, good exchange down the left hand side, great ball in, and the Wyness header was not far away, Paul Hartley, and a free header for Jamie Moe, who scores his first harsh goal, Three minutes from the interval, it's poor defending from Inverness, they let the youngster escape, he was well picked out by Hartley's free kick, and the header at the back post left Mark Brown with no chance, 2-1 Hearts. Dodds clearing at the second attempt, hesitation at the heart of the Hearts defence, and Graham Bain could have punished them again. Into a yawning gap, went the Inverness striker on the end of a long ball, straight down the middle, and Hearts were more than relieved when Bain hooked his effort wide. Willis up to Penila. No free kick, Steve Conroy was very close at hand. Canapidi's header drops for Black. And a long range effort from Ian Black is paddled around the post. Heading for the byline, another great ball in, a good area, and Neil McCann cracks one off the crossbar. Well, earlier on, it might even have been a Darren Dodd's own goal as he sliced the cross from Moore. It could have gone anywhere, it dropped from Neil McCann, and he was so unlucky. And that one didn't go in for 3-1. Back for Tokley. Tempting ball in for Barry Wilson. How did he miss that? I think he's asking himself the same question. The Hearts defence missed out of the cross from Tokley. And it looked to be on a plate for the Inverness equaliser. Wilson couldn't get there. Hearts stay in front. Neil McCann replaced by young Andrew Driver. 12 minutes left. 
McBean and Rankin combine. And Sean Rankin's shot comes off the rounded Penila. Second substitution for Hearts after 79 minutes leaving with field number 10, Paul Hartley. That's enough for Paul Hartley. He's done well. He will hope as he goes off that uh, his teammates, including now Bruno Aguiar, can hold on to what they've got. Benino's flick finds Mikkel Yunus and some room. Tokley's header, uncertain. And young Andrew Driver has sealed it for Hearts. Ten minutes from time. Jamie Mull celebrates with them both scoring their first top team goals for Hearts. And despite all the millions spent, all the expensive foreign imports, it's two homegrown youngsters who've done the business for the home team. 3-1 now after that crashing finish from Driver. Mole almost through for Michaela. Does find its way there. Jamie Mole again, and here's Bruno Aguiar for 4 1. Right on 90 minutes. The Portuguese substitute crowns the Hearts victory. Good work from Michaela and Mole up front. And Aguiar. Guided it away from Mark Brown, and victory is complete.